No, yeah, I mean, we, we do a lot of work out here on the days that nobody's watching, and um, you, all of a sudden you get to see it put together on those Saturdays when we played our preseason games. And, you know, we're ready, ready to play, ready to compete. we got a lot of great guys around us. Um, 17's obviously a big guy that, you know, he's being QB. we got a, the O-line and the receivers also that are helping out and doing everything they can to be successful. Does that carry over? Can that carry over? Oh, yeah, 100% it'll carry over. You know, we have exp uh, a standard and an expectation that uh, we want to reach every single week, and I know we'll reach it. How much has it helped that you've been here with three, you know, talented, maybe not talented, experienced veterans? Not for the point of view that, well, you get to learn from them, which is obviously great, but that you're not asked to be a, a large producer in this offense right away. That you can kind of do a little more learning and, and make it maybe progress a little. Slow is not the right word, but at least have the opportunity to learn before you have to do it on the field. No, yeah, like you said, being able to learn from those big three guys. Um, but the, the, the best thing I know that I did this year was I was able to learn from them, then take it to the offseason and put it together and um, figure out ways I could, I could bring all of their ideas together and um, their strengths and try to put them into my game. Um, you know, any, anything can happen. You know, it can come from a small role to a big role. Um, I feel like everybody's role is important, and I try to play mine the best ability that I can. But I'm blessed to have the guys that I have to be able to watch and learn from to become, you know, a better receiver. Do you ever get a little antsy that all these things you've learned and yeah, of course. I, I know a lot of guys wish they had a lot more chances out there, but again, you got to know your role and execute it the best way. Um, I'm happy with the team that I'm part of. Uh, couldn't ask for anything better right now, and you know, just happy to be here. After the last pre uh, preseason game, Josh Allen made a statement that he trusts you. What, what's that mean to you, just being such a young guy already in two years in the game, you just trust? Yeah, no, it definitely means a lot, especially from a high caliber QB like Josh. Um, you come here being the new guy and you try to um, show these guys that you can compete and that you can uh, perform to their level. And I feel like I did just that and was able to execute on every single opportunity that was given to me and to be able to have his trust is everything. Yeah, of course, there's definitely less nerves going out there every single day. Um, learning so much to be able to put it into my game and be able to, you know, um, be an expert of it and come out here and be able to do a lot of things different and, and do it well. No, yeah, no, I like to, uh, I like to have fun. Um, you know, again, especially when it comes to scoring touchdowns and, and being around the guys, uh, you put a lot of work in uh, during the week and it, you have to go out there and celebrate when, when it's uh, put together. That catch, I mean, the route that you ran, Josh talked about how you guys have to even practice that with this, this mm -hmm. training camp. Where did that all, how did that all come together? You just saw something and Josh saw something? Yeah, just based, yeah, just depending on, depending on what the defense has given us, um, we know a route to run based off of that. And, you know, at the end of the day, maybe we haven't completed a pass like that, but at the end of the day, we know when we see that type of defense out there, we know where people are supposed to be and where the ball is supposed to be thrown. How much did you know you had an inkling that ball was coming? No, yeah, as soon as I seen the way the defense was set up and as long as everybody did their job the right way, um, obviously the O-line was able to keep Josh protected for a long time. I mean, that was a deep route. Um, Dawson was able to get his guy to come down, and I was able to break it up over top and be able to uh, get in the end zone. So it was, it felt great, though, yeah. Is this, because people talk, talk about how you're so knowledgeable of, of, of the playbook, and this goes back to your rookie season when you had... Diggs asking you where to line up. Uh, I mean, is this part of that study? Is this part of that, the thing that you've developed over the course of your, you know, when you started playing football that you've always talked about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, um, I knew, again, like uh, guys have each role, and I knew that I had to be a backup to uh, B's or E, or it was Smoke at the time last year, or a Diggs, and I knew I had to be able to go in and execute what they do every single day. Um, and know every single position, every single play in that position. So it was just a constant grind for me to be going home, studying the playbook, coming here, getting with Chad, going over the plays before practice, um, and just constantly doing flashcards and just everything to really help me understand what's going on in the play. So when I go out there, it's just I'm more worried about what to do with what the defense is giving me than worried about what route I have. I've never played receiver, so I'm, I'm curious. Flashcards. Yeah. What, what do you mean by flashcards? Oh, you write the play on the front, and then you put the play on. The, you, I mean, you write the word of the play on the front, and then you write, you draw the the pictures on the back, and you try to be able to say it. 
obviously before you look at it and be able to guess all the right stuff. And how have you scored on that? Oh, I, I've been doing it since I've been in, been in the NFL, for sure. It's helped me a, a whole bunch to learn every single position, every single way. I feel like it's, you know, automatically the best way um, to do it. Also taking a whiteboard and drawing up the play every single time, too, as well. Okay, is there one thing that you think you're better at this year than last year? Maybe one thing you want to be better at this year than last year? Um, just adding, adding some craft to my routes, not keeping it, you know, how the picture is and kind of adding some new things to it to make it, uh, to disguise it a little bit more. Um, feel like I'm doing better in that way, and then also just being more comfortable on the field. Mentor, um, that's hard. I mean, I got a, I got a lot of good guys a, ahead of me. Um, Smoke took me in from the beginning, uh, helped me get real comfortable with the team, and I was really, you know, happy with that. You know, being able to have uh, Digs and and Bees and uh, now E in front of me, watching them, you know, perform at the level they perform and. It's just, it's been a, again, there's so many guys that's uh, helped me um, in the NFL. And, you know, I just can't name the one because uh, I, I, I give props to all of them. Coach was talking about today, Sean was saying that you have a lot of maturity. You're up here early. Where does that motivation come from for you? Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is always a dream of mine. Um, and I remember, you know, my mom always told me, um, you know, hard work, discipline, and dedication. And I watched her get up early mornings and, and, and go to work and be able to take care of us. And I know I want to do the same thing for her and, and for my brothers and my sisters. So I try to implement that into, you know, my football regimen when it comes to doing things. Uh, get up early um, in the weight room, get my plays done. Like I said, go look over the plays, take care of my body, be able to be ready for Sunday. What did, what did she do? She worked at a lot of different places, you know, insurance companies, electrical companies, but she'd be gone from, you know, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. some nights, you know, just constantly working to be able to provide for us. What did you think about Conor McGregor sh shouting you out? That's the best thing ever. That's the king right there. Conor McGregor, is, um, I love his story, um, you know, uh, the, the discipline and dedication he had to, to his sport, to love the craft, and he was definitely different um, in his time than anybody. And I still feel he's the best to this day, and I give none but love and props to him. So you just play to play how, play how much to him? Yeah, exactly. Had to. Had to. That's my favorite all-time you know, UFC fighter. He's the best. Um, just his attitude towards the game, how confident he is, um, how he speaks things into existence. I mean, it really shows you, you know, when a person believes in, into, into themselves, you know, how far it can take them.